I've covered a few feuds related to Sharon Osbourne, including her beef with Iron Maiden and ICP. I've linked to both those videos below. But today I want to talk about maybe one of her lesser known feuds, and that was with Vince Neil and Molly Crew. Stay tuned for the full story. In Vince Neil's 2010 book Tattoos and Tequila, he would say some pretty disparaging things about Sharon Osbourne. Molly Crew had opened up for her husband Ozzy back in 1984, and in Neil's book he described the type of destructive behavior and mayhem that the crew carried out with Ozzy when the Prince of Darkness' wife and manager wasn't around. Neil would write in his book, Once Sharon got there, all the fun screeched to a halt. The next concert, we were only allowed one case of beer backstage. Bringing girls backstage was verboten. We couldn't do this and that. There was a whole set of rules we had to follow. We had these t-shirts even made up that said no fun tour 1984. Neil would claim that once Sharon saw the shirts, she was pretty upset. But bassist Nikki Six would appear on the Let There Be Talk podcast and tell a different story saying, when Sharon came in and saw it, God bless her, she started laughing. She goes, all right, all right, enough with you guys. It seems like there was no love loss between Neil and Osborne years later. As the singer would go on to write in his book, it really just sickens me today to see everybody fawning over Sharon Osborne. She's a talent judge on TV and she has her own show and this and that. This is the most evil, shittiest woman I've ever met in my life. She would have you killed if it was to her advantage. Sharon would respond back to these allegations in the book telling the New York Post, my husband called him and said, what's the problem? And Neil kind of backtracked. It's a case of I need names in this book. I need to shock. It's sad when people do that, they want to sell you out. I think he's probably very jealous of Ozzy, but he dare not pick on him because the fans will turn on him, so he goes after me, she'd say. Regarding the charge that Sharon would kill someone if it was to her advantage, she went for the throat saying, he's the murderer, not me. He has murdered somebody in a car. He crippled two other people and is still driving drunk. And that is why I used to keep my husband away from him. And if that makes me a bad person, then I'm a bad person. She would go on to say, Neil is a pathetic 50-year-old party boy who puts innocent people's lives at risk by drunk driving and assaulting women. The incident that Sharon was referring to was in 1984, after the tour with Ozzy, when Neil was driving drunk one night and got into a car accident hitting an oncoming car, which claimed the life of his passenger, Hanoi Rock's drummer Razzle. In addition to that, the two passengers in the oncoming car would be seriously injured. In 1986, Neil would be sentenced to a month in prison, 200 hours of community service, and five years of probation, in addition to paying out nearly two and a half million dollars to the crash victims. While promoting the book in 2010, Neil made it clear that he hadn't dealt with Sharon since 1984, and his comments about her had to do with her 30 years ago and not in the present moment. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. We'll see you again on Rock and Roll Stories. Take care.